Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Simon from AWS and I'm joined today by Stefan from Sumo Logic. And Stefan's going to take us through a really interesting use case around ingesting of logs. If you're not ingesting your logs, you need to go start doing that. But there's something very interesting about this architecture. Stefan, please tell us about yours. Sure. So uh, this is an architecture we've evolved over the last couple of years in AWS uh, to ingest massive amounts of logs. Um, and so we're trying to make sure customers' logs are never lost. We need to make sure they're secure. Uh, and uh, log data is somewhat elastic. It ebbs and flows. So we wanted to take advantage of that as well. And so here's, here's how it works. Out here in, uh, on the left side of this, uh, of this diagram are customers who have collectors. These are agents that pick up logs. They send them through an ELB to an EC2 cluster called receiver. Um, sort of like this. And receiver will authenticate collectors and stick the log data, the actual raw data, into S3. So that's just the initial dump that's just getting... That's, yeah, yeah chunks of 100 to 1,000 log messages in general. Um, and we encrypt them here in S3 with a customer-specific daily rotating key using S3 server-side encryption. Um, and we simply put a locator to the logs into Kafka. And we'll see the same payload through S3 locator pattern repeat again later. Um, from here on, it goes to a component called Forge that pulls it back down from S3. Uh, Forge's job is to parse logs, do some accounting, and um, simply keep uh, different feeds of, of logs. It's keeping track of It's keeping track of things, exactly. There are exactly. always a EC2 instances or sets of EC2 Yeah, clusters of EC2 instances, exactly. All that good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, and you know, then this is where this pattern that I mentioned earlier repeats. It once again sends a locator to Kafka, uploads the logs to S3. Um, one notable thing that Forge does is to uh, actually do the counting of how many logs customers have sent us, right? So we charge customers by daily ingest. Yeah. And we need to be very accurate and, and uh, responsive in, in um, keeping track of the ingest. Uh, and we use DynamoDB's um, atomic updates, uh, atomic counters uh, to implement that. So once a minute, each one of the Forge nodes sends an update into DynamoDB saying, for customer X, I've received 700 megabytes for customer Y, I've received 20 kilobytes and so forth. And Dynamo, because it has the uh, ability to do atomic ads, basically across the whole cluster, sums it up for that day for that customer. It it for you. So you, you've taken really that complexity and logic of having a, a clustered system with distributed yeah. data. This is fire and forget. And said, hey, into Dynamo, Dynamo look after it. And obviously low latency, scalable. Yep. You're not really worried about getting big. Yeah, and it, this, this was, I implemented this in a couple of days. It was super easy to do. Nice. It was beautiful. So where do we go from there? Um, so from there, the logs actually fork into two different paths, right? So the first path is what we call CQ for continuous query. Um, that system renders our real-time dashboards. So uh, low latency dashboards that you have on a TV on a wall somewhere. Um, that occasionally snaps uh, snapshots out the state of the dashboards into S3 so that it can recover. Um, but that, uh, I would call that a dotted line. It's not sort of, not every log ingest causes that to happen, right? The other path is feeding our search subsystem uh, called the indexer. So the indexer sticks the logs into S3, uh, in, into Lucene indices that it then pushes out to S3 and our search fleet, which is a whole nother, you know, whiteboard full of stuff, um, pulls it back down from there. And again, in, in all of these cases for S3, we use uh, customer-specific server-side encryption. Uh, we use lifecycle policies for the most part. Um, and some of these longer-lived S3 uh, stores, we, we use the uh, infrequent access um, variant of S3 as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, so you basically got a model where you've got like hot, relatively new data, which yep. is what we normally look at logs. Then you've got the intermediate, then you've got and the And then there's a long stuff. tail. Exactly. There's a very strong recency bias in that access pattern yeah. to the point where I think 80% is the most recent hour of data and then it sort of long tails out from there. So there's both a performance and a cost implication yeah. of sending it through those tiers. Yeah. 
Yeah, when when that feature came out a few months ago, it was basically free money to us. It was, it was beautiful. That's we like. that's well, that's the power. That you've, I mean, you've leveraged S3 for some of its fundamentals, and yep. you're getting the, the benefits of the security at rest. You're getting the customer encryption keys, and then obviously the tiering. You're saving money, you're getting better performance. Yep. And I love what you've done with the Dynamo PC. I think that's really smart work because it means you're simplifying your architecture. Yeah, yeah, that that was one of the classic examples of, of AWS's uh, power, basically, how quickly we could implement that. that so this is essentially, that. quote unquote, infinitely scalable in as much as yeah. you can grow it, keep adding to it. And we have, I mean, this has grown over six years from you know a couple of hundred gigabytes a day to now this pushes 70 to 80 terabytes a day wow. uh, of log data through. Fantastic. That's awesome. Stefan, thanks so much for coming on and joining us, and thank you for sharing your architecture with us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This is my architecture.